Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you how to make an announcement command. So, this is a little neat command that you can get. It's, you can type slash announce and then anything you want. So, let's say you want to announce an event. I already made a command for this. Press enter and it announce the event for everyone on the server. For this, you're going to be needing skb and script. These are both mandatory for this to work. So, let's get started. Once you install these plugins, you should be able to go in the plugins folder, the script folder, and the scripts folder. So, then over there, you want to create a new text document, any file, and then you can name it whatever you want. So, I'm going to name it announcement, but the extension has to be .sk. So, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and open the file. So here we are, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code from Microsoft as my ID, you can use whatever you want. So what we want to do is we want to create a command that upon executing with a certain amount of arguments, we want to broadcast those arguments to the players of our server. So to start off, we're going to register the command, so command slash announce, like this. Then we can get a permission. So you're going to need to have the permission for dot announce to execute this command. Then we can also put a permission message for the people that don't have access to this command. So say uh, access denied. Then you can put a trigger. So then it's going to execute all of this if you meet these requirements. So we're going to check if the first argument is set. Now that we know that this exists, so then you can send title and then announcement to all players for five, five seconds. So this is going to announce the, as a title the announcement part to all the players that are online for five seconds. Then we can send the subtitle the colored argument went to all players for five seconds so this is gonna upon executing this command if the first argument is set and you have the permission core announce it's gonna send the title and send the subtitle to all players for five seconds otherwise you can just send uh, no no text provided. So if the first argument is set so we can announce, otherwise it's just not going to do it. Then we can also play a cool sound effect. So if people are AFK, they can get back to see what happens. So for me, I'm going to be using the sound that we get uh, for the uh, experience bottle pickup. So play sound entity experience uh, orb pickup at pitch to two player. So once this is done, you can save the file and then go back to your server. Once you're back on your server, you can type sk reload and then the file name. For me, it's going to be announcement.sk. And now you should be good to go. So you press uh, you do this slash announce. And then you can type whatever you want. So if you want to have a green test and a yellow test, can have these two. Thanks for watching and goodbye.